Old Dutchman Colorado just came in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you'd like to see if we have this in stock and available, please visit the link in the YouTube video description. If you're not on YouTube, congratulations, you're probably already on our website or have the information available. Uh, we'll uh, have pricing and everything published for you there. This is an 07, uh, at least two previous owners. The most recent owners had it at a, uh, a seasonal site uh, right here near Halet RV, and they're still camping there today. They uh, basically, they bought a, um, like a, a park model at that facility where they stay and really enjoy, and went, well, huh, we don't need the fifth wheel anymore. So they uh, pulled the fifth wheel out, brought it over here. We're going to find a home for it for them on a consignment sale. Now, before you get really confused and mixed up by that, it really doesn't make a hill of beans a difference. Because we're a large enough dealership, we can still finance this for you, just like it was our camper. We can still take trades, just like it was our camper. Um, you know, we can do everything, just like it was a Halet RV owned unit. Now I see good signs of preventative maintenance on this. Like I can see where over time, seals will start to, you know, get brittle and dry from the sun. I can see where they've been resealed. The tires look good. Looks like the tires have never uh, been left to cook, you know. They had it stored inside in the winter, so the uh, decals and stuff are not, oh, pardon me, no, 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 that's a different camper. This was not stored inside in the winter. That was the one I did the other day, pardon me. This was stored outside uh, during at least the last three years, but it's been clean, well kept. You can see that the decals aren't peeled and fading. You know, they did a good job here. This was kind of in line with the old Keystone Challenger fifth wheels, sort of, if you remember those. Um, if not, well, I guess it doesn't matter. It is what it is. Now, overall, good shape. I'm not real scared about anything I see here. We do have um, enclosed heated underbelly, so that is going to give you that extra protection there. All your hookups and everything are right over here in one spot, including a black tank flush, which is nice. Again, uh, something the first thing I asked the folks because uh, I actually had a chance to talk to them when something sits in a seasonal site quite a bit, I say, How do the tires look? because usually they get weather checked. I don't see any of that here. They said, nope, tires are good, and I'm going to agree with them. Tires look real good on this thing. Um, seals and everything look to be in good shape. I don't see anywhere there's been any sort of seam failures or leaks. Everything's in good working order. Has to be until just recently they were in it, actively using it. It's got that wrap-over roof line construction, which is something I always enjoy. I see that as a good structural indicator. Now, they put a little... Um, like bike rack bracket, uh, a two inch receiver on the back of that bumper there. That's Those are perfect for adding a, a little bike rack. Um, even if even though this was at a seasonal site, they weren't towing it, bike racks are still handy because in my experience, if you, you know, chain some bikes up to a little hitch or something back here, no one's gonna mess with it. Or, but if you leave a couple bikes sitting next to your coach, next time you come back, they won't be missing, but they might be moved around like somebody took a little joyride, you know? Now, over the bathroom, I see they put a max air roof vent on there, and actually over the, the kitchen or living room vent, they did the same thing. So this will get some good rainy day airflow. Now, we always shoot people straight here at Halet RV. It's the only way I like to shoot you is straight. Looking at this thing, it looks just fine. When you see it in person, though, there is a small pocket of skin delamination here. It does not appear to be a leak. It appears to be something called toad skinning, which if you've seen my videos, you've heard me describe before. Basically what happens is this is a laminated wall. It has an aluminum perimeter. It has some aluminum studs. They pack it with a high density bead foam. They uh, glue it all together and they slap some uh, Luon and fiberglass on top of it and press it together. And that's great, but the problem is that glue forms a sealed bond all the way around that bead foam. The bead foam still has a little bit of air and gas trapped inside of it. When the sun and the heat start getting to this, that gas expands. Older laminated trailers did not account for this. They did not realize what was going to happen. Those gases expand, it stretches the fiberglass and delaminates it slightly. It's, and when it first starts, it looks like bubbles. It looks like toad skin. That's where the name comes from. So what you need to do when you see something like this, come over here and just whack on it. Now I can pound all over this thing, and it's solid as a rock underneath. It's just the skin came loose. There's no real fix in it, but there's nothing really wrong with it. It's just a small aesthetic thing. Now, if we didn't go out of our way to be straight shooting and forefront uh, with information here with you, I don't, I don't know what more you could ask for than that. Because that's something that a lot of people, especially a first time RVer, you guys probably wouldn't have even noticed. But that's not the type of dealership we are. We like to educate you and be fair so that you can buy with confidence from our dealership. Now, um, very light, bright interior decor. 
This is clean too. Those two rocking chairs in the back, those are definitely not the original chairs that came in this coach, but that's a good thing because those are residential rock uh, recliner upgrades. So you're actually going to get better than standard furniture in this in that regard. Your windows all have day night shades. Now, when I see a fifth wheel of this age come in, usually I look to see which one of those shades, if at least one, like the string is broken or it doesn't go up and down anymore, it's stuck, none of them. Every single window shade, both dual day and night sections in this are working like champs. All windows open for ventilation. Classic uh, triple slide rear kitchen, or pardon me, rear living room floor plan with a big old side kitchen. You've got some good kitchen space in this. Um, you've also got a really slick side entertainment, which is my personal preference. I prefer side entertainment. And I think that this floor plan was actually a little bit ahead of its time. And this is really kind of the grandfather of a lot of the luxury fifth wheel floor plans that you see in the market today. I like that little desk space in the corner. Still very current for you uh, work, work campers or folks who are going to have this on a seasonal site. And you want like a little computer station or tablet station off in the side. Perfect. And even those windows open for ventilation. That's a cute little writer's nook, really. Um... And there's like no wasted storage space. They opened up everything they could everywhere they could in here. Nice, plenty of prep space. I mean, you've got very good kitchen counter space in here. This actually rivals the kitchen counter space in my house because my house has a crappy kitchen, much to my wife's chagrin, which is really tough because she's a, uh, a baker, you know. She does uh, like specialty cake designs and stuff, so she has to do a lot of jacking and shuffling around. Um ceiling fan up here to get some good airflow moving around uh big tall cabinets too you can really get some good storage uh going on in there fitted sink covers and you can see i mean look look at this a lot of people will just trash the sink covers they'll they'll chop them up like a cutting board which i mean they are very that's a great use for these things but i mean you can see that this was used but it's very clean the whole coach is clean and they didn't go on a storm and cleaning spree right before they bought it in here they had they this is just how it was this is how they kept it every single day i think that's awesome that is a bigger 10 cubic foot fridge and freezer too uh you don't see those a lot anymore usually nowadays you either see an 8 or a 12 you don't see a lot of the 10s anymore so that's that's a bigger fridge than you used to get quite a bit. Still bigger than today's standards. Uh, full true queen bed, 60 by uh, 80 true queen, and just full front storage with just awesome, awesome cabinet space in here. Now, uh, I should back up. You may have noticed in the underbelly there was a yellow Eureka centralized vacuum system. That's actually something that was added after the fact, and uh, but it, I mean, they used all factory components so it was done very well now on top of that for some little spot cleans it looks like they had the uh, dirt devil P -p -p power stick over here as it apparently is called looking at it the power stick but seriously look at the all of the dresser storage all the way around this thing is crazy storage now when this was built we didn't feel the need to necessarily have a tv in every single room of our household so what they did, and they did a decent job of it. I like that if they did something to this coach, they didn't just shred it. They actually just, they ran a little bit of coax wire right here to a, a, a little TV mount. It's not fancy, but you know what? It is still pretty darn effective. And they, they, like I said, they didn't leave scars on the coach by doing it. Now, this is a classic split bath. What that means here is that we actually have the sink and the vanity and the shower kind of, quote, in the bedroom. You actually have a bedroom, bathroom, master suite combination. This provides some benefits, though. Um, you don't see this in today's market as much, but it's because towing vehicles have gotten bigger. Um, building like this allows the manufacturer to actually build a coach 18 inches shorter now the side effect is we actually get this nice big wide open space that a big clumsy klutz like me can actually get dressed uh a neat little thing too is if someone's using the bathroom you don't really cut the coach in half by any stretch there's no real loss there um this is gonna go quick i don't care if you're gonna tow or like if it's gonna be your first fifth wheel or if it's something you just want to park at a seasonal place this this is sharp and just because of the age and where the folks were, they were looking to be really reasonable on their brokerage contract. This is going to go fast. This is going to be the right money, the right unit. It's going to go quick. So um, if you need us to finance it, you you have a trade. You want us to deliver it because these folks didn't have a truck. We actually dispatched a driver to go pick it up for them to make this happen today. It all happened right on the spot. We make things happen. We can do it quick. All we need is an opportunity. So take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy Haywood camping, everyone. <laughs>